Hi guys, Brian here, and today I want to give you my impressions of the Tamashi um, Impact Effects are what these are called. I don't have the boxes anymore, I threw those away because I didn't think I'd be needing them. But I've been using these guys since they came out, and I just want to uh, wax satirical on them for a while. I don't think that's the right phrase. Wax philosophical, maybe? Let me, let me, let me know. Post in the comments. What, what's the word I'm looking for? Anyway, these impact effects you might have seen in a few videos by now. Um, I have, to be honest, I wasn't super impressed with them when I just got them. And, and it's because, like, if I grab Vegeta here, and, because I originally bought them for Dragon Ball Z figures, and just did this, that's not... It looks alright, but it doesn't look amazing to me. Mostly because it was like, hey, there's this area down here that it, it, it just looks weird. And it's a little bit too small for most of the SH figures. figures. But I've been playing with them for a little while now. I think I've changed my opinion on them. I think they're pretty awesome now. And uh, they come in various... Uh, they come apart, actually. So in the center, you got this little piece here, which is just that. And then you have a hole through it. And on the back here, you might notice that there are segments that you can break them apart. And it's the same for the uh, other version as well. It actually breaks into... Uh, I don't want to... There we go. Breaks into three pieces. So you can... Uh, so in these three pieces, each of these individual ring pieces have a little port for a Tamashi stage, which I just happen to have one right here. And you don't use the uh, grapple or any of the grapple hooks, you just use the regular ports on it and just plug it in there and hey, now they're floating like that guy is. Because he's using, actually I think it's Frieza's sh stage to hold him up. I'm slightly annoyed that this guy doesn't have a single one at all. But, oh well, I guess. Also, there are, on each of the ring pieces, there is another piece that can pop off. A single piece on each of them. And, annoyingly, these don't have any sort of uh, stage ports either. Because this would be awesome to have. Because you could have a, like, theoretically, just to uh, build a little thing in front of you. Bam. So... If this piece had a port, I could theoretically... Wow, that didn't succeed at all. You weren't supposed to m come off, you are supposed to move. I could theoretically do that, and has have this sitting here. That would look awesome, but it doesn't have a port, so I'd have to grab one of the... Uh, I found these type of clamps to be the uh, most useful to grab hold of the rocks. And then just have it holding there. So I have to have a workaround. Would have been nice if they had like maybe in the bottom of this had a hole for the stage port. <clears throat> but I do like that each individual rock piece is uh, individual, unique. And the third one is this guy right here. I like how he's a, a double bricker. And then the other two are all different. And all three of these pieces are different too, so I like that. And with the uh, modular nature of it, you can get some pretty, uh, well, not unique, but... Well, it's not particularly modular. But w with the uh, nature of it, you can get some pretty interesting displays, display options. Like, hey look, there's just a ring. So I can have uh, Vegeta again here. Just got it, having gotten smashed into the ground. That looks pretty interesting, actually. Or, bam, smash into the wall, or bash through the wall, as uh, actually one of the uh, promo pictures for it shows. And then you, to put them back together, you just put them back together. And then this part is the uh, more annoying one. You have to figure out which direction it goes. I generally look for uh, this square bit and that square hole. That's the most unique looking feature of it to me. 
Otherwise, you're sitting here going, uh, how do I get this? And if you have, like, say, stages full of fire effects around it and figures that are slightly not perfectly um, held by the stages and things can fall while you're trying to figure out how this middle piece falls into place. I don't really have any good ideas about how that could have been fixed. Because it's, I, I like it being asymmetrical like that. It makes it, uh, it makes it not obvious. And these guys, it takes a little bit of practice to figure out which ones go where. Because that one, I recognize the box, uh, the, the hole that it goes in. The next one is here, has a slight little tilt to it. And so that's this guy. And then the third one, bam, has a little ledge. So that's the uh, double guy. So overall, I'd say my opinion of the uh, Tamashi um, impact effects are rather positive. They they definitely are added dynamic to the to the um, displays. And if you combine them with other effects, like say a handy dandy bit of fire, I have it makes it even more dynamic. Like, something's going on right here. You, I don't want to be anywhere near what's is going on right here. But that's my quick opinion on these guys. Uh, if you guys have any comments on these, I'd love to hear them. What do you think about them? How does the paintwork look to you? Are there any other styles you would like to see? Because as far as I'm aware, there's only the uh, brown rock and gray rock available. Personally, I think I would like some um, version that looks more like it's dirt and uh grass being thrown up but curious to know what you guys think so let me know bye